Sounds like you need a mentor. Perhaps a once great samurai who has fallen on hard times and maybe could use some help himself. But where could I find one? What? Oh, get out of here! Who even made that? When this was pitched to you, what, what did they say? Were they like, we've got this movie, but it's kind of like Blazing Saddles, but it's an animated comedy for children. Like, how did that go? Yeah, kind, of, kind of exactly that. I mean, um, it was, yeah, it, you know, it was introduced as a sort of, you know, sister movie or more like, you know, child of, of Blazing Saddles and cut from the same cloth, at least in terms of the humor and that Mel Brooks would be on board with it. And I, I was kind of like, I've heard everything I need to hear, you know, that was plenty. I think that, you know, I mean, I think Blazing Saddles maybe is not appropriate for kids, or I'm not really, I'm not really sure what age child should watch it or anything, but it's so silly. I mean, even when adults watch it, I think it turns you into a child watching it because it's, it kind of is feels like you're watching Bugs Bunny. It's so ridiculous, you know, and, um, I think that's just great for kids. I mean, I think that's what this movie is going for is just really silly humor that everybody can enjoy. Don't forget to land on your feet. Mel was inspired by the great Japanese director, Akira Kurosawa, who did all those samurai films, Yojimbo, Seven Samurai. And Mel was inspired by that. And when you... If you know both uh, Japanese films and you see this, you see the relationship. You see uh, uh, seven samurais. Uh, but in this case, we have one samurai that comes to the rescue. And that is a dog in this land of cats. It was, it was a, uh, a movie. Mel Brooks is producing it and, you know, in it. And, and it's got Sam Jackson, and Mickey Gervais, and Michael Cera, and, you know, just on and on. And, and I was like, I shouldn't even be in this movie, but I'm going to do it. <laughs> there were so many good throwbacks as a Blazing Saddles fan and an adult sitting there watching this with my six year old niece. It, yeah. was, it was the best of both worlds. Yeah, 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 exactly. And I think that's the wonderful thing about this film. What they managed to do is it's a real family movie, you know, and, 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 and you, you, like you said, your, your six year old niece will love it. You'll love it. And, and, and. Kids, yeah. So, and we're getting to go to the movie theaters again. So that's great. You know, we get to finally sit in an audience and watch a movie on a big screen, which is how it was meant to be seen. So, um, yeah, I'm excited for it. Well, you know, I just think, you know, sort of when you start to imagine a world of cats and, and think about how that's going to uh, affect a character like Hank, who is literally, or not literally, he's not literally a fish out of water because he's a dog. Uh, he could have been a fish, but he's not a fish. He's a dog. Um, and so the whole time we were, you know, obviously inspired by, you know, all of the films of Mel Brooks, who is just a genius. Uh, uh, he's a comedic genius and icon. Um, and, and he's done so many great sort of film parodies. You know, he's done parodies about Frankenstein. Uh, uh, just, so, just so many. It's best Star Wars and it goes on and on. Uh, and that's what we were trying to do with samurai movies. Pause the Fury, Legend of Hank is out in theaters on July 15th. I'm Sari Cohen. I'll see you next time.